Maybe this video will be the reset to help you break out of that negative cycle where the currents of life really can start to shift for you and in a way that is supportive and nurturing and helpful. So if you feel like life has had you in a headlock and it's been extremely difficult, I just want you to know that you're not alone. I, fellow human, have had probably the hardest couple years of my life and in doing this work with you all and working with clients around the world to get unstuck, it has been shown to me every day, every week, every month for many years that this seems to be a trend, unfortunately, that we are in. So first thing I just want you to know, you're not alone. You're really not alone. I talk about this every day with clients, just helping them get through what feels to be a cycle of challenge and adversity. And what's curious to me is, well, why is this so? Why is it that we have this experience in life and that life is relentless? Now, I will say life, and this is a personal belief, I really don't believe life is out to get us. It doesn't like life's, I, I really don't think that. I really don't think life is trying to pull one over on us. But I want to talk to you a little bit about like the negative cycle that we get stuck in and what that's all about and to provide some light at the end of the tunnel if that's most useful for you. I think what's interesting and, and what feels so hard is when you're in it, it feels impossible to get out of it. So if you're, if you're bumping up against feelings of helplessness, hopelessness, anger, despair, fear, like it's just never going to work out, things will never change, you'll never have what you want, when you're in it, it feels like life has you in a headlock and it's almost impossible to break that cycle. But I want to share with you a couple things that might really help shift the currents of this so you can take a breath, you can have some space, and you can start to get on solid ground again. What's tricky about this experience, so being in a negative cycle that just seems to keep repeating itself over and over is when we're in it, we start to do this. We turn the finger back on ourselves as, as if we're actually the problem, and then we start shaming ourselves, and we start beating ourselves up which then only makes it worse because we've turned against the one person that we, that we have. Like we, we've turned against ourselves and that can be a very heartbreaking and painful experience on top of everything else. Like if we can't be our own support and our own ally through any storm, any dark night of the soul, who can be there for us? Okay, so I just want to say one thing, the, the feelings, helplessness, hopelessness, sadness, despair, I call these baseline states. I talked about it here in this video if you want to check it out. And these are emotional states that all human beings feel. Pick your most famous, most glamorous person. I always like to use Beyonce, but guys, please pick the male version of Beyonce. Even these people feel that. And think of it this way. It's like, it's like a pelican. You know how they fly and then they'll just dive into the water like head first, some crazy tactic? The human, the human sometimes can do something when we're baselining. It's like we're doing okay, we're flapping, and then all of a sudden we go boof and we go straight down. And then to get out of that, to flap up out of that can be, it can be a challenging experience. There needs to be a break state. There needs to be a shift in an emotional state and just there needs to be a shift. And that's what I want to share with you in this video. So before I share with you some tools, I want to talk about maybe why this is happening. So what is the value of it? Again, if you're watching this and you're in the thick of it, well, I'm glad that you're here. Okay. So what is with this feeling like hot garbage? That's kind of when I'm feeling really cheeky. That's what I say is I just feel like hot garbage, like smashed hot garbage. Some could say this is the death of the ego, a shift in consciousness going from 3D to 5D. Like there's all sorts of kind of woo-woo theories, which some of them I like, but it could just be a radical shift in consciousness that we at large are experiencing. And again, I do this work with you all, with clients all over the world from every walk of life. 
And this seems to be a very common theme that most people are going through. So maybe it is change, like true change and growth and the death of the ego. Now, the ego isn't bad. It's a construct of who you are, but you know, maybe it's a time to outgrow some things and, you know, make the changes that you want and need to make. And, and you can probably tell me, I think any growth, especially positive growth, so you becoming a more resourceful person, that's growth and growth is awkward. I think if you were to ask any child growing, you know, like how they feel in their body as their body is growing, they're probably going to say it feels pretty terrible. Here's something else I'm, I'm really curious about. I've noticed and I'm curious what you think, the less we are distracted, social media, shopping, scrolling, sex, alcohol, the less we're distracted sugar with stuff, it's like, where is all that attention going? Where's all that energy going? It's like the less we're distracted with that, we might actually feel worse. We then have the time and the space and the mental capacity to face ourselves and to feel whatever it is that we have going on. And we're not distracted. We have to, we get to just like feel what we're in and we get to feel what we maybe have been avoiding. So I'm, I'm curious what you think. Have you been less distracted and do you feel like hot garbage? I think the most important thing that we can do during times like this, dark night of the soul or some negative cycle is to be the most loving support for ourselves and to be the ally that never turns away from us because who else is there? Who else will support us? I mean, you know, if you have a partner or a spouse and that person or family members or friends, chosen family that can be there and, and help help you through it, that's fantastic. And of course, I want you to be the safest place and the, and the most loving person for yourself so that you're the most... Mm, Like you'll always have a home in you, I think is what I'm trying to say. You'll always have a safe place in yourself to experience whatever you're, you have going on. Here's also what I have observed. I spend a lot of time in nature and nothing lasts forever. Seasons, nature is a constant reminder that nothing lasts forever. And so I think the negative cycle and the times when stuff is just not working out, there will be a shift. There has to be a shift. Like, again, just look to, I, I have mountains right out here, so I often motion to this, but seasons change. Night turns to day. Things are con constantly changing. It may not happen as fast as we want it to happen, and that's, re that's a respectable feeling, and... I want to provide you some things that could help shift the cycle towards something that is healthier, supportive, easier for you as best I can. So the first question would be, if possible, can you pinpoint when the cycle started for you? So when did this start for you and just what was going on for you then? And instead of feeling like hot garbage or fill in the blank, how is it that you would like to feel instead? So we're going to start to do the work of state change. So if it's hot garbage, I just feel like crap, hopeless, helpless, sadness, anger, fill in the blank. So in instead of that, how would you like to feel instead? Sometimes we get to do the work of emotional state change. So how would you like to feel instead? And think of it this way. This is going to start to help the bird, that pelican, start to flap up. So if you've baselined and you've been swimming in that ocean because you just nosedive down, some of these questions are going to start to help you get some leverage and some, some lift. Okay, the next question is, what is one tiny thing? Teeny tiny. Because when you feel like hot garbage, sometimes, ta well, sometimes taking bold action is exactly the right thing to do. And sometimes it's just about taking the one teeny tiny next step to help you feel more of what you do want and less of what you don't want. And again, in doing this, making this conscious shift can start to help your own little pelican get some air and start going instead of this start going like this. So if you want to feel more positive and hopeful and happy and faithful or pick, you know, whatever, pick an adjective. What is the one tiny, teeny step 
one thing that you can do to help yourself feel more of that. And it might just be really simple, like cleaning the house, getting off social media at a certain time every night so that you can just have peace and quiet in your brain before you go to sleep. Maybe it's drinking more water. Maybe it's making a commitment to spend an hour outside every day. And I just want to remind you that you absolutely have the power and the wisdom within to make this change. You could imagine that you're being supported by a collective, collective, I don't know, a force of people around the world who are wanting and reaching for a better experience. You could just imagine if you close your eyes, you're shoulder to shoulder with these people. It's a, it's a force. It's a, there's a unison. And I know, I know, I just know that you're not alone and it might, it might feel that way. And I just want to remind you that you're not alone. And I think too, when we're in this crud, in the hot garbage dumpster, maybe this is a great time to soften our standards or what we hold ourselves to or just the expectations that we've set for ourselves. Because again, everything, there's a season. There will be a season when you feel strong and you're thriving and you've got that life force and it's time to create and it's time to whatever. But right now, when you're not feeling 100% or, you know, you're just you got a lot going on, maybe it's a great time to soften the standards and the expectations and just let the cycle run its course. I don't know where you live in the world, but as an American living in America, sometimes it can be really hard. It almost seems counterintuitive to soften and and just be without working, without pushing, without striving. It almost feels like you're doing the wrong thing if you're not hustling and pushing really hard. It's very strange. And it, this is, this is the pressure. This is like added pressure that I don't think, I really don't think we need when we sometimes just have to ride the wave out. Again, bird dives down. That bird will not stay down forever. That bird needs air. And what can we do to provide that pelican with some lift so that you can, you can come to the surface and you can take a breath and you can see what's going on around you and look forward to a new day. What I have seen, and again, you all have provided me direct feedback. So in working with you all as clients, the negative cycles that we get into, and this is true for my own life, I'm human just like you, it's the negative crap that is really a true sign of growth and of change. It's all cyclical. Night turns to day, spring turns to summer. And I think it's just about riding it out as gracefully and as compassionately and as kindly as possible to ourselves and to each other. So that's what I got. That's what I got for you. And I would say on the days that feel really hard, on the days that feel especially hard, like I'm I always do this. Sometimes just breathing it through, just breathing it through, like feel what you feel and just breathe it through. And I, I know, and I believe that the things that you want for yourself and the change that you want so badly is coming. It is on the horizon. Life does not intend to keep us stuck. Like, could you imagine what the world would look like if life was like, no, no, Everybody stay stuck. Nobody grow. Nobody exit out of this cycle. Everybody feel like hot garbage. Life, life, I think life is way too sophisticated. I think in closing, my friends, this is Ash, one of my dear best friends in the whole wide world who recently passed away. We would often joke when when stuff got really weird and wonky and we felt like hot garbage, we would call each other. He was my speed dial friend. But we would laugh and he would say, Ash, he'd call me baby dog. He would just say, baby dog, you know, being human is an acquired taste. And I would just, I would just start laughing. (laughs) So my friend, life is an acquired taste sometimes. We don't have a user manual and I just want you to feel like it is going to work out. It may not feel that way. It may feel weird and crunchy and awful and, but nothing lasts forever. And within you is the wisdom and the power and the knowing to help yourself get through this cycle. And if you have been less distracted, congratulations, 
you're actually the one of the more courageous people in the room because when you don't have all that stuff to keep you entertained or distracted, what are you left with? You're left with yourself and your feelings and your process. And that's really courageous work. So well done. And uh, I'll see you in the comments. I'll see you in the comments. This is your friend, Ash. Good day. Good night from my funky studio. See you soon.